Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my favorites for the month of April and it's actually kind of exciting because it's my very first favorites of the month. Um, I only have a few things but I kind of just want to give you all an idea of what I use on a regular basis. The products that I chose for my favorites are something that I pick up very often and that I get asked a lot of like what I'm wearing especially when I'm at work I'll get asked a lot so I kind of want to show you all everything so let's go ahead and get started first thing I want to mention is my uh, mascara so this is a hot and naughty lash and hot and naughty has been around with MAC for a really really long time and a lot of people wanted it in waterproof and it wasn't until forever years later that they finally came out with a waterproof version of it and I really really like this one for those of you who aren't aware of the formula of Hot and Naughty it's actually like a dual wiper system so if you ever feel like some mascaras will get really really clumpy on you or you don't like how much product the wand takes out Hot and Naughty would be a good option for you because you get two ends to it so you're going to be getting this end the smaller sign I love using this side because it is so tiny that it's uh, it allows me to really define each lash and get in between, you know, and just really define them. I love using this, this smaller side for my bottom lashes because it really just gives them that pop, how you doing? And then the bigger side doesn't take out the excess product. So this will really allow you to volumize your lashes and get them really really thick just how you want them and going into summer and the humid weather and the heat I feel it's really important to be using something that's waterproof if not for your top and bottom at least for your bottom because it always happens with me where I'll get really really like I don't know how to explain it but I'll get um little raccoon dots for my mascara and it's just impossible to try and clean up after because then you got your concealer and your highlight and you don't want to mess it up so you <laughs> kind of just want to avoid that altogether so I always make sure that I use a waterproof formula on my lower lashes and Hot and Naughty has been doing the trick for me like nobody's business so that's my first favorite my second one that I want to go into um since we were talking about highlighting is Studio Fix Powder. This be the holy grail. The color that I have is NC20. I don't use this for all over my face. I just use it to set my concealer. Um, I get asked a lot at work what it is that I'm using underneath my eyes to set. So I'll always use Pro Longwear Concealer. That's just like a given. I always use that. Um, and then I'll take this Studio Fix Powder and I'll either take it with a clean and dry beauty blender or just a tapered brush and I'll grab it and I just pack it on top of the concealer but I'm not moving it around I literally just press it because by doing that you're really just setting it and that's what you want to do you just want to set it in a place so the concealer doesn't move anywhere but it just stays where you put it and where you want it so Studio Fix uh, powder NC20 I use that underneath my eyes I use it in here down my nose, on my chin a little bit, and it really helps keep me matte. Studio Fix is an oil controlling powder, so um, I really enjoy using it underneath my eyes. It also helps brighten the concealer a little bit since it is a little bit lighter than the color of my concealer. So I always enjoy using that, and also I don't have it with me, but I also own this in NC35 and I uh, use that not underneath my eyes but just like an all-over face powder when I don't want to use a liquid and I just want something that's going to be quick because Studio Fix does the trick for me it literally takes me like if I wanted to do a full face with powder maybe like three minutes to do it's really really simple and really easy if you just want to even out your skin tone again it is an oil controlling powder it is full coverage so you only need a little bit and it's really beneficial so I'm all about it Going into our third, I put a lot of stuff underneath my eyes, a lot of stuff. So after I do my concealer and I set it with Studio Fix powder, I take the accentuating powders and this is a product from MAC, it's only sold at pro stores or you can also find them online. So this is in the color Emphasize, so after I do my concealer, I set it with my Studio Fix powder, I'll take a blending brush, like the tapered blending brushes, I'll swirl it in and I just start blending back and forth. So I'll do that after I do my blush. And I really really like using this because 
I feel that it helps brighten and after setting it with the powder it really just gives it that final look I feel so this is the very last step that I do I do this after I finish everything and before I'm gonna set my makeup um, and it, it really just pulls the whole look together in my opinion so definitely would recommend this if you wanted something um, that's a little warmer not so light um, you can get accentuate and I'll compare the two so you can see what I mean. Sometimes I'll mix the two together just depending on what kind of effect I'm trying to get. If I want something more natural, I'll probably just stick with this one. If I want something in between, I mix the two together or to go all in like I did today in this video, I just go with this one. My next two products are lip products. They kind of go hand in hand because I never wear one without the other. So first one is Honey Love and you guys are all going to laugh at me, but... It's kind of the shit. So, <laughs> this is my Honey Love lipstick. It's recently become one of my favorites, and honestly, I literally wear it with, like, every lip pencil possible. It's not even funny. So, Honey Love, it's a lipstick from MAC. I'm pretty sure you have all heard of it before, and if you haven't, definitely go to your nearest MAC store to try and try it on. To try and try it on. So that you can try it on so you can see how it fits on you. It's almost like a pale nude a kind of beige color. I really like pairing it with lip pencils such as Strip Down, Oak, even Stone it looks really pretty with, Boldly Bare, just colors like those I'll always wear it with. And you can wear it, I've worn it when I have like a smoky eye or even when I just have something like super super natural. It just, it's easy to apply, you don't have to worry too much about it and it looks good on every skin tone i've tried it on really really fair skin tone and also really deeper skin tones and it looks good on everybody as long as you're pairing it with the right lip pencil like it is the true girl definitely would recommend this and i always like to pair the nyx soft matte lip creams with this so my favorite color is in the color london and the reason i like pairing it on top is because it so this is, okay, this is what it looks like by itself. So it's a little darker, but I, I don't like the consistency of the matte lip creams alone. I feel like it just stays super, super shiny. I don't know, I just like to feel like it's there, and it's very, very lightweight, so I can't really feel it. Like I said, I just don't like how it feels alone, so I'll always pair it with this. And it gives it that, I'm going to sound really, really funny, but it makes your lips look really dry, like when there's like those little lines in the crevices like in a good way not in a crusty way and I always get asked what I'm wearing when I pair this on top of Honey Love. I have a few other colors as well but I only find myself gravitating towards London. It's it just it looks good on top of any nude color that you have and I even placed it on top of one of the the lippies that I have on right now by Colourpop. It's one of their lippy sticks. So I have a London paired on top of this and it gives, like I said, that drier textured look. So I really, really like pairing these on top of like any nude lip that you have. Okay, and then going forward, I have three brushes that I want to show you. One is by Morphe. It's dirty because I haven't cleaned it, so don't touch me. So it's just a fan brush and I really enjoy using this with my contour. In the, I use a powder to contour, girl. Like, I'm simple. Like, I'm not about to... Anywho... I pick this up with my powder contour and I just dip it in the pan and I will just kind of get it right in the, the cheekbone right there. And it's super, super easy. So I just do that here, get a little bit right here, and then I'll use whatever I have left and I lightly dust it on the forehead. It's super, super easy to use. It's super convenient. I think this was like less than $10, honestly. I got this at the Morphe store when I went to LA about... Not too long ago. <laughs> Definitely recommend this brush. It has become my favorite brush to contour with as well as bronze. And then there's two MAC brushes that I want to show you. There is this guy right here. He is the 137. He's actually one of the new ones from our lineup. And I enjoy using him to highlight. You can also use it to add like blush or contour again like that one. But I like using it to highlight. So it's super, super simple to do. Just dip it in your highlight. You get it right in here. Swivel it back and forth on the nose a little bit. And you're good. I, honestly, like, it's, it just feels so soft. I kind of just want to all day with it. Or even just kind of like 
fan myself with it. Like, that's how... I don't know. It's just the truth. Definitely recommend this one. This one was $42, but worth every penny for sure. And then the new one is... What, what number is he? He's a 221. He is the more tapered version of the 217. Uh, he's a little bit skinnier than him too, so he's been going to the gym a little bit. But I really enjoy using this in the crease. So just right in here, it literally fits in the contours of the crease, like, perfectly. So you don't even have to work. Like, the brush does all the work for you. And we all know that as long as you have the right tools, you're going to be able to achieve any look, like, effortlessly. Um, and this brush just really, really does that. You can use them on the crease, on the inner corner, or even to blend out colors that you have on the lower lash line. And again, like, they're just so soft, it's not even funny, like... They're just perfect. So that pretty much covered all the products that I have in my favorites for the month. They're pretty much everything that I gravitate towards the most to complete my everyday looks. So I just wanted to share with you all some of my favorites. Definitely let me know what you've been using this month, if there's anything you think I should try because I really want to try some new products. Definitely let me know what you want to see next. And until next time, guys, bye.